I thought I should make this video and explain my concern about the use of personal protective equipment in public places, uh, particularly the use of gloves when go shopping. I want to explain, I want to talk about what gloves are used for. Gloves are used to protect uh, individuals from getting into contact or individuals' hands from getting into contact with uh, harmful substances, for example, in clinical areas to protect clinicians from getting into contact with infection from sources like urine, from infected wounds, from sputum, saliva, or blood. So when we use gloves in clinical areas, we go to patient A and once we're done with patient A, we take off the gloves and put on a fresh pair and we go on and address patient B. Now, in our shopping areas, where for example, when you go to a supermarket, I've seen people wearing gloves from their houses. They don't, they don't take them off, they walk into a shop, they get the trolley, which someone had, who had gloves on had left somewhere in this um, in the corner. They pick it from there. With the same gloves, they go in and touch packets of um, onions. They go and touch vegetables. They go and touch oranges. They go and touch cucumbers. They go and touch milk. They go and touch chicken. They go and touch um, sausages. They go and touch pet food clothing area, they go and touch this and they touch that, they touch that with the same gloves on. Now where is safety here and where is infection control? The same gloves that you had on when you picked, when you lifted the trolley, you might have touched an infected trolley. You move from there, you go and touch something else. The infection that you have touched from the trolley, you will be transporting it to the oranges and from the oranges you will move to the vegetables from the vegetables you will move to milk you will move to uh, chicken you will move to every other parts of the grocery shop you instead of being the person who protects you will be the mode of transport it is good to use gloves but we need to be careful that we don't become the model of transportation. After shopping, after doing everything, you go to the checkout, you've done everything that you can. Remember, you have touched the potatoes, you've touched this, and you've put it in the shopping bag with your gloves on. You've touched that and that and that again, you've put it in the basket with your gloves on. You take off the gloves, throw them away, and you hold the bag, take it home, what do you do first thing when you get home? With your ungloved hands, you start unpacking the goods from there to there, from the bag into the kitchen. What's happening to your hands? You are with your clean hands touching the supposedly contaminated food packs from there to there. That means you are not safe anymore. You think you are safe. You've got the confidence in the gloves, but you don't have the confidence in what you're touching. You don't have confidence in everything that you're doing after, thereafter. It is important that we become aware that the gloves that we use to touch the trolley are the same gloves that we're using to touch the food and are the same gloves that we're using to, to touch or to hold the shopping bag. And the same gloves that we're using to pack the food in there we take the gloves off, throw them away, go into our car, clean as we think it may be, drive the groceries home. When we get home, we, th we start unpacking the groceries that we think are clean and safe. There is a danger. We have to be careful that whatever we do, we think cleanliness. Let's not get this safety or this guarantee of cleanliness or, or freedom from the virus 
by wearing gloves, going out shopping, touching food, touching this and that and put them in the basket and take it home. At the end of the day, we are taking the infection back, the virus back home. When we think we are safe, while we think we are free from the virus, we have loaded the virus, the virus ourselves to the bags and we take it home. This video was done as a conscientization uh, or an awareness campaign against the use of gloves when we go to shopping. I'm not saying stop using gloves. Let's use gloves. Let's be as cautious as we can. Or let's try to do our best when we do our shopping or when we try to get rid of this whole virus. Let's make sure that we're doing the right thing. Doing the right thing sometimes, let's calculate and look at and analyze the whole process. Wearing gloves is the best thing we should be doing. But what do we do with the gloves? When we touch oranges, that could be with the virus. Do we take the gloves off and wear gloves for the next? And wear gloves for the next? Or, or we just move from one, two, three, four, five, six, six things within the shop. And we think we're safe. There's no guarantee of safety when we wear gloves all the time, whenever we do everything that we do. Let's be careful and let's watch whatever we do that we are not giving ourselves false sense of safety at the end of the day, affecting ourselves.